uh, from Saudi Arabia. He says that he has a friend from Qatar who is a Sufi, and he keeps on telling him that the Sufi way of uh, religion is the best way. We sit in a corner of a masjid, we make dhikr, we make dua, we feel our hearts light with uh, uh, sins and uh, heavy with iman and our way of life is the best way of life. The Prophet ﷺ had secrets that he only gave to a few of his friends and we share some of these secrets and he's asking, uh, what, what, what should I say? Akhi, the Prophet told us والسلام, that there will be 73 sects of his ummah. They will be divided into 73, all in hell except one. And when they asked him, which one, O Prophet of Allah, he said, those who are on the footsteps of my footsteps and the companions. So those who are following the Prophet والسلام, and his companions are on the right track without any doubt. Now, when we come to the Sufis, Sufis are levels and grades. Some of them are very close to us. And all what they have from Sufism is that they are not indulging this life. So they don't ride a fancy car like we do. They don't uh, have uh, uh, any connection with this dunya when it comes to uh, sort of uh, living a nice and soft life, which is by itself good. This is their right to choose. They're close to us. But there are extreme Sufis who go out of the fold of Islam when they pretend that they have things that are not found in the Quran and Sunnah. Like your friend is saying that the Prophet has deceived and cheated his ummah, astaghfirullah, when he only taught a handful secrets that the whole ummah do not know about. And this is totally wrong and out of uh, uh, context altogether. So how do we uh, address these people? We address them that even the Christians have this light heart and this uh, 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 tranquility they find, though they are disbelievers. This is from shaitan. You cannot get closer to Allah Azza wa except through the Quran and the Sunnah and following the footsteps of the Prophet and your practice is full of innovation. Ahmed.